Match One Podcast, not nothing. And you are not tuned in with the Match One Podcast. Man, Match One Podcast. If you ain't Match One, nigga, you dab one, man. You did what I'm saying. Hey, man. Roll one, smoke one. It's the Match One Podcast. Match One, Match One Podcast, number one podcast station. You already know it's Match One. Better match two if you ready, though. Come on. <laughs> Match one podcast, man. Shout out to my man Zeus and T. Did in this motherfucker, man. Scrap life, scrap love, man. Y'all know what it is. I'm fucked up with these niggas, man. <laughs> match one, be it. Oh, match one, man. Fam, C time shit, man. Tuning in. Real topics. Good energy, man. And hey, we ain't here matching one with the match one podcast. Shout out to y'all, man. I'm high as a motherfucker. Scrap okay. life. Scrap love. All my niggas smoking green, yelling out match one. And you're now tuned in with match one. Let's get it. <clears throat> you are now tuned in. You are now tuned in. To the match one, match one, pod cast. Wicka, 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 hang on the mistletoe. I'm gonna get to know you better. Boom, boom, boom. This Christmas, and as we trim the tree, how much fun it's gone to be together. Boom, 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 boom. This Christmas. Just trying to set the atmosphere. All right. You know, getting the listeners in the mood. That's what you call it. Send the atmosphere, send mm-hmm. the spirit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. If if I was at a church, right. I would probably be getting the offering right now after something like that. Right. You know what I mean? To. They'd be like, some type of sin. Hey, look at Pastor Zeus right there. Why we ain't giving him some money? Minister Zeus. Minister? No. First of all, I don't. Oh, excuse me. Excuse I'm, me. I'm going to be a pastor or like an apostle. Or okay. Some shit like that. Okay. Apocalypse. Uh, apoc- apostle. Some okay. shit like that. Okay. You dig know what I'm saying? But I can't even be no apostle with no name like Zeus. I don't think I can even be in the church with a name like Zeus. Why? <laughs> Zeus. That's your name. Yeah, but you know, it means stuff. And you know, somebody might get offended by that being in church and calling myself Zeus. Hey, Zeus. No. That's just Jesus. Really? So hey. Zeus is just sus. What? No. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> you just threw me the fuck Zeus off. Zeus would just be sus. Okay. Sus. If it sound, like, it sound like you're saying sus. Like sus. I mean, I'm saying sus, but not in that meaning. Because what I'm saying is, if it's hey, Zeus, mm-hmm. Zeus should just be Zeus. But we're not going to no Spanish. Hey. But we're not going okay. to no Spanish church. Uh-huh. First of all, like that's why I, I kind of got lost. Oh shit! I'm wasting liquor. Be on myself. Anyway, mm, it's your boy Zeus, aka Thunder, aka Let's Go, aka the Hood Motherfucking Geek, aka Mister Ode Loca. Sin callado. Shout out. Shout out. Yes, Shout out to the Dominican. Yes, I'm coming Lord. home. I'm coming home. Yes, Lord. I got in the mood. And I go by. <laughs> King Jordan did it. That's how, you start, the listen, that's how you start a motherfucking show. You know what I'm saying? I just felt like it was right since we were just talking about church. Yeah, get a listen and get a listen. See, sick. that's in the somebody, atmosphere. Somebody just got saved. Boy, what? Somebody just, oh, hey. Somebody if my that. voice Hold just a reach, show. if my voice just reach Hold you, up, motherfuckers, up, 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 up. I hope you do something with your <laughs> life, motherfuckers. Somebody just got saved. <laughs> you speaking the tongue, nigga, like I didn't get this. Hold up, <laughs> that's not funny. We shouldn't be playing like All this. Right, right. He's in the cousin past. But he be tripping. But that nigga be going off, boy. That shit. That's what's up. Though. I mean, he, can you blame? He said, "For motherfuckers in your way." <laughs> Come on, man. I seen the lady say some shit. I seen, uh, I seen, I seen, I seen the lady that we on the church saying, 
If your titty dry up, you got to cut people off and tell them your titty is dried up. I was like, whoa. <laughs> Shit. I got the message, though. The message was very clear. She right. was like, I'm sorry if you're seeing the kids in here, but I, my titty's going to run dry. I was like, God damn. You're going to point to the kids and your titty's going to run dry. And your titty's going to run dry. God said, don't you let them run your titties dry. <laughs> I was like, Jesus. Yo, Look at this church, man. man. When the spirit moving, you can't hold hey, it back, man. Hey, I ain't got nothing. I would not say nothing bad about it. You know, I, you know. Hey, you're right. When the, when you set the atmosphere, you set the atmosphere. You know, you gotta you know. be you gotta be ready for it. Hold it up, both. So <laughs> we, gotta, we gotta stop before we get some listeners listening to us, sending to our building fund. Right. We need the money in our building fund. Me and brother, brother T Diddy, we were like a private jet. Amen. We were like a big private jet. Amen, pastor. You know, a private Amen. jet. That's what a lot of pastors are asking for these days, right? Amen. Private jets. I want to buy my wife a two hundred thousand dollar Lamborghini I truck. Well, I want to buy my wife one too <laughs> with my book funds. Give me goddamn the money for the private jet. <laughs> Yeah, for the private jet. I don't want no fucking private jet. You know what I'm saying? I can drive. I like. I, I make everything. Else. I know you got to fly. I get though. I know you got to fly some places, and I'm with that. I know you are on a whole nother. You like driving everywhere. I'm okay with driving to some places, but sometimes I do want to take a plane. But not a private jet. I don't need that shit. Right. right. I, ain't, I ain't that fancy. So I say, give me the money for the private jet mm-hmm. to buy the jet, mm-hmm. and everywhere I need to be, I promise you, I get though. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because God gonna make a way. God gonna bring me though. Mm-mm. <laughs> All right, man. That's a, we 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 had church for a minute. I don't even know where they came from. I guess we was letting the spirit use us. Yeah. Um, you know, somebody always say, man, when that spirit use you, you let it use you. Yeah, so, use so you. all our listeners that was, um, it up <laughs> all the listeners that was felt in y'all spirits. Somebody said, after somebody a word, changed their life today. After a word like we just gave you, somebody just changed their life today. Um, we got to set up to make sure we had a match one. We got to get the match one. Um. Cash out going, you know? Yeah. So y'all can cash out our blessings to the Match One podcast. Holy blessing. Um, after a message like this, if you would have went to church and heard a message like we just goddamn gave y'all, come on. You will be giving all of your money. Come on. Oh, but because we on a podcast, huh? Uh-huh. On a podcast. Uh-huh. On a podcast. Uh-huh. On a uh-huh. podcast. Uh-huh. We don't get the same. Respect. Talk to him. We don't get the same blessings, huh? Talk to him. Uh, okay, man. You we, we got to stop, bro, before we, before we get somebody saved in here. I don't want to get nobody saved. Talk but yeah, y'all can always, you know, match with podcast. That's where y'all can send y'all ties for us, for listening to us, because that, that wasn't a free sermon. Yeah. You know? It pretty much was. Well, nah, they didn't got it, but if in your heart. You know, yeah, right. if you ask, you share receive. Uh, uh, uh. You know, I'm listening, my brother. I mean, that's all. That's what I heard. <sighs> I ain't telling you what I know. I'm telling you what I heard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sh- my brother! I thought you was finna get start spitting something over there. Uh, nah, you had, you had my, you had my, uh, you had my, uh, you had my leg, uh, you had my leg over here tingling, my brother. I almost uh, got up and uh, I almost got up in uh, 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 all. <laughs> Look, man. I'm glad y'all had fun with the church, but shout out, man. Shout out to Neeks, No Talk Gang, uh, uh, Cho Chase, Scrap, you know, uh, Scrap Radio. Y'all need to got there. We supposed to link up with y'all, too. Oh, uh, Sam, I know everybody got shit going on right now. Set it up, man. You know, we got to get us another round table because we ain't sat down in a minute. And, you know, when y'all start doing that to us, Scrap Radio, you make me feel like y'all don't love us no more. <laughs> I'm just playing. I know everybody that's got shit squad, going on. Man. Yeah, that's the squad. That's the fan. That ain't just the squad. Oh, shit. That ain't just the squad. That's the goddamn fan. That was me. My headphones. That for my headphones. Um, <clears throat> who else? Uh, Tooley, shout out that nigga Tooley, man. I ain't shout out that nigga Tooley in the minute. He always be fucking with us, bro. Shout out Tooley. We gotta get you back over here, too. Nigga Tooley be starting shit on social media, too. <laughs> uh, shout out to every motherfucker about it, though, man. If I forgot to shout you out, I apologize. Uh, everybody, man. You know, we kind of got lost. Every time I say I'm shout out everybody, and then we start doing other shit, and I just want to make sure I say shout out. So shout out to our listeners. Um, everybody, man. Shit. What it do? You know, all the new cities and shit that be popping up on the list. I see y'all. I see y'all. You see me. We see you looking at us. Keep them coming. You know what I'm saying? I see you looking at me. Looking at us. Ooh. So we gonna Jesus. Okay. We, we, we got to start with the church. 
We gotta start with the church. <laughs> Everything just flowing. Listen, with man, we gonna be with the church on, on. and this gonna be the only episode our mamas them ever listen to us and be like, listen to y'all, y'all mm-hmm. like that, y'all preaching. <laughs> Yeah, I preach it. <laughs> yeah, I preach it. Yeah, Christian folk, they'll take it and, and yeah. flip it to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He God, like, I got a call. God, God, y'all yeah, hear it in your voice, God. Yeah. I got that preaching on y'all. Yeah. I heard y'all show this week. I don't, <laughs> th- listen, I don't even listen to y'all. But God told me, God led me to hit this. y'all episode this week. Mm. And when I heard y'all, you something say said, it. You better say it. Y'all supposed to be preaching. Tell me how people listen to y'all. <laughs> <laughs> God is not gonna let you run <laughs> from your calling. <laughs> you gonna eventually get your calling. He gonna catch up to you. I told you this when you was thirteen. You was gonna be a preacher. What? How did you know? That's why I'm beating God right now. <laughs> he got to catch up. <laughs> oh man. So yeah, dude, we definitely need to stay. Cause you gonna stop, bro? We gonna have some church people mad at us. I don't want church people mad at us. They be mad at us sometimes already, but not like let's not be. First of all, I don't want people thinking be we picking. I wasn't. I wasn't picking on pastors like that, but that's just my interpretation of what pastor sounds like. I've heard a lot of pastors in my life. I've heard them all. I've heard the good pastors, bad pastors. I didn't. I didn't, I didn't experience One thing them they all. all. Got in common. Okay, here you go. No Those answer for your pocket. Yeah, exactly. That's why I asked for it. Did I ask for something? <laughs> it's wrong for us to ask for our building fund. You know what I'm saying. Hey, pastor wanna go on a vacation too <laughs> I wanna go spread the gospel across the Dominican On a beautiful beach Spreading the word You almost made me start shouting boy but anyway, okay. man, what you want to get into, man? We just started talking about shit, all types of shit, man. Running, man. Don't uh, that been going on. It has, and then the fucked up thing is, we finna be. I wrote down some shit, but then it's like every time I supposed to write some shit down, I didn't. But whatever, we gonna start. What's up? Uh, we gonna start with it all good. At. Well, I think I should throw my title in this. Um, it's been going around for a week now, a couple uh-huh. weeks. Uh, King R and B. Um, Jackie started it. He made a good analogy when he said what he said, you know. I fuck with J- J- Jacquees. Jacquees. J- just for that, though. Okay, I get what he was saying. Uh-huh. Uh, I have nothing wrong with his confidence. Um, but I don't think he's a king right now. Maybe even in his generation, I don't know. It's it's, it's debatable. He makes uh, sense, though. 16 to 25. I guess. You folks fucking with him man. Everybody fucks with him He's been around for me Everybody, Everybody fucks with, fuck with him to a certain extent yeah. like, But I understand what he's saying 16 to 25 Them folks fucking with him man. I guess You know what I'm saying um, Shout out to him I actually got to meet him Almost technically not ready to meet him But we seen each other before <laughs> We wussed up each other before Okay okay. You know what I'm saying He looked at me looked at him We wussed up You know yeah. I don't think he knew I was Zeus at the time right. I was kind of Zeus But I wasn't Zeus It's right. early on in the match One shit mm-hmm. But he seen me I seen him You know He seen me Yeah You yeah. know what I'm saying We posted up a little bit But not right with each other Type shit Right uh, he Same was, room No we was in the same vicinity Okay Cause okay. it was outside it was, it was at a, We was at a graduation Right Um right. Right. And it's a college graduation, so okay. so you know everybody was posted up. He was on that side, I was on this side, right. but you know, but we seen each other right. in the graduation. Right. But he was yeah. outside, posted up and shit, you know. Yeah. And at that time, that's when I realized, like, Atlanta really don't give a fuck about nobody. No, yeah. you right. Yeah. Because the only people that was like, oh, they got Jackie's was the people that was like with me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, because I was telling them like, hey, yo, they got Jackie's. You know what I'm saying? And one of my sister friends was with me, and she was like, that's it for real, and I'm like. Watch this And he was walking I was like Hey Jackie What's up He was like What's up Yeah And she was like That is him uh, We kind of met each other But we kind of did Right But I was just trying to show her That that was him uh, Yeah But I might have made his day Cause seeing how everybody else In the fucking place was <laughs> This was a packed out place and I was ignoring his It's ass. like everybody else was like Fuck is this nigga But then how long ago was that It's like About Maybe about a year and a half ago, too. Two yeah. years ago. I mean, he was still Jackie's now. I mean, maybe not now. He probably would get yeah, a different reaction. Just standing but I'm saying, like, at that time, he was Jackie's because when, you know, you see, oh, that is him. Like, right. he was still that type of person yeah. to be like, yeah. oh, that is him. He wasn't one of the people like, who is that? Right. You know what I'm saying? So he was still. Jackie. Because he was walking on the field and shit. Like, Jacquees. it's like the people there knew him, but they was just like. All right. That Jackie, Matter of fact, it was it was a college there, so they probably was really used to seeing that nigga. Right, right. So and he from there. He from there. Is so. he from there? Yeah, Is he? yeah. Okay. So that would make him yeah. So yeah. that's kind of one of those like all right. 
Oh, that nigga right up. Yeah. Yeah. He wasn't really that big of a figure then, but now he probably wouldn't be able to stand in no college graduation. Yeah. Uh, I guess it depends. You had to have him a guard or security. I mean, he kind of had something there with him that day, but oh, okay. it was not like dead like the door. Like, eh. Matter of fact, it was. It was some of his homeboys. Yeah. But um, anyway, Jackie's, hey, whatever, man. I don't give a fuck about shit. Everybody kind of seen him took it out of proportion. But I seen that a lot of people started crying and a lot of people that I've always had. Um, I don't want to call it an affection for it. It sounds gay. No disrespect. Um, But, you know, I seen the whole lot of respect for uh, the R. Kelly. Everybody even know you say what you want. Say what you want. But his music is bulletproof. Like, <laughs> whatever. But, you know, everybody put their crown on R. Kelly. Yeah. Definitely my boy. But see that. Ain't nobody 16 to 25 No 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 That's true that why No 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 Everybody but, just took but, the but, shit And took it to a whole nother level Right But that's what I was saying Everybody That's what I was That's how I started I'm saying I see Cause that's pretty much What I just said And everybody took the shit And ran with it And then I right, said They started right, giving right. credits To the motherfuckers That Like the R. Kelly's The Urshers The Chris Brown And right. I seen the most debates Was like Trey Songs. Like, he's like, hey, wait, oh, oh fuck you. Like, what's the quota? Well, Trey. To be a king. Because that's what everybody was saying. Tyrese was mad. You know, Trey like, can't even sing. That's what a lot of people did. He made hits, though. He Same had longevity. He had longevity. Like Jacquees, though. Nah. For saying he really can't sing. But he ain't got he, no he hits yet. He, I mean, he, Not yet. he make viral hits. No, he's, he's, he's going viral But he's using other people's songs Every song But see I mean That's just the cover though You know what I'm saying I get that I get that. No 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 I think you're doing it for attention I get that That's what I'm saying That's fine But he hasn't had like He might He had one song thus far That we gonna say This is a hit hit Like that's platinum All that good shit Whatever But I'm saying like He got some ways to go I respect the nigga Cause I done I seen that nigga grind He said he just got Four song platinum Yeah I respect the nigga grind. I done seen the nigga come a long, long way. I remember the. I remember going. To, right. the, the, I, I literally remember yeah, the nigga. Had a, the mint tape with Dave's Loaf, man. Yeah, all these bitches and shit were fucking with that shit. When him and Dave's Loaf had the mint tape together and shit. He, you know yeah, no, no, no. That's what I'm saying. I done seen his grind. I get what. I don't have any argument with what he's saying because when he clarified and said it was for that age group, I can get that. But the whole thing started a whole nother debate. Right, right. But even with that said, that would just tell. It worked out for him in the long yeah. run. I think he really trolling now, though. I think he making all, remaking all these songs and putting it out just because he know that's going to keep motherfuckers talking about him. You know what I'm saying? I don't blame him. That's what, that's the area he's living in. He's supposed that to. That bird, man, smart, man. He's supposed to do that. Bird so man, I, smart. Same thing with Young Thug. Everybody went to talking gay shit. He just don't do interviews and don't talk about it. Just keep folks talking about it. Still keep dressing gay for You know what I'm saying? Say gay things. Right. I get and it. And then don't even talk about it. Keep people talking about you You know what I'm saying Oh I don't I, I, I respect it Like I said The whole thing with me Just brought up a whole Another debate of just Who is the right. king of R&B type shit I wonder I mean like Who meets all the criteria We just said the first, I just named three Off top R. Kelly Ursh Chris Brown I can agree with it I really I ain't a fan I don't really think R. Kelly can sing Personally True You, you mean you know he, 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 I get you But that don't discredit him Being what he's at and it don't the longevity, the the right everything. And we got to break it down in, in generations too, because you, you know what I'm saying. Like when I say them three names, I'm speaking for my generation. Right. Let me just say that I'm speaking right. for my generation. I'm not speaking for everybody generation. Cause I know somebody older might have somebody else there. Right. But most of the other people that's you in this conversation, Sam Cook. Yeah. <laughs> see, that's what I'm saying. Majority of the people that's in this debate or having this conversation is of my generation. Right. Or you that's the problem. Yeah. That's what I'm. I'm tired of seeing like. You don't even fit in this. Sit your old lad down, man. We know we got different shit that we like. Like, we don't like they rap either. So, why, you know what I'm saying? I don't, it's, I'm, I'm, well, yeah, certain people don't like they rap. Cause I kind of like these I don't got it. I'm going to say, I don't have any issues with right. any shit right now. Um, I like that shit. I just too. got, I mean, some people shouldn't have been like, I get some people trying to make their argument. Nigga like Tyrese. I right. get why you trying to make your argument, but come on, Tyrese. Like, nah. You still a nigga from the Coca Cola. Tyrese commercial. got some heat, man. Nah. He got some heat. He can sing. He got longevity. Nah. Yeah. And he can sing. He too. can sing. He can really sing. You know what I'm saying? Talented. He can play the piano. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But to me, like, I get it. He got more hits than the person to me that I respect that can sing and shit is a nigga like Tank. 
Definitely got more hits than Tank. Definitely do, but Tank wrote a lot of shit. I wouldn't put the Tank in the argument though. You can't because he don't have <laughs> right. he don't have the catalog to. But I don't even know what, what, how he even getting in the argument. That's oh, what like, about Nicki like Joe? But see, the shit's so crazy because if Jaquees Jaquees wouldn't have said that shit and say Tank would have just came out and said that he was the king of R and B, it would have been the same response. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. But, but now he really sneaking in and can talk shit and Ooh, get tank, in the argument. Tank. He, he sneaking in and Maybe, giving me a little but, shit but, in. You when know he, what I'm but, but when he said his list, he just had to, you got to throw yourself in there. I right, get, right, I get right, it. right. But he put everybody else that was supposed see, to. See, I seen the little interview. It was him, Keith Sweat, mm-hmm. and uh, Tank Keith Sweat, and Jack Keith. Yeah, and got and Keith Sweat was getting at that nigga. And, but, he was but, mad but, a little but, upset. I, but if the, you notice, that nigga Tank just kept like saying like King, like us King, like you know what I'm saying, like trying to really put himself up. I mean, Jack Keith was saying that shit too though. I mean, I get it. Like, I get it. This you, take the same. Like that's what I'm saying. If you talk take about the same, but when you talk about, it, I think it's a. Di- I don't know, bro. It's 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 like niggas to get king and goats and shit. Tank ain't a big enough star though. Nah, nah, nah. He's not. He's not. But nigga like Joe, Joe, Joe. I put Joe over Tank. You got to put Joe over Tank. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He got more hits and everything. You want to be for real, nigga? Brian Michael Cox is king of R&B because all the hits he wrote. Yes, that's the king of R&B. But just that's what people say about R. Kelly because he's wrote a lot of R&B hits too. I mean, he is. No, he's wrote for other people. He's wrote for Michael Jackson. I know though. he wrote a song for Michael Jackson, but I mean, like, uh, like who else can we? He write? wrote a whole the whole Aaliyah's first album. He's wrote a lot of shit. Don't like discredit his writing. I mean, he wrote Contagious, nigga. What the hell is going on between the sheets and my own? He wrote. That's he, his he, song. He, no. Well, but, yeah, okay. He it's wrote. Technically his song. He wrote shit for motherfuckers and brought them back to life. He wrote shit for Charlie Wilson. Brought Charlie Wilson back to life. You know what I'm saying? So he got hits now. Don't, don't, don't discredit that nigga writing. He got some, he got some rights on him. Don't, don't do that to him. I'm just saying. He wrote Gigolo. Yeah. I'm just saying, though. <laughs> compared to Brian Michael Cox. Brian Michael Cox wrote some hit hits. But I get that Brian Michael Cox wrote for a lot of different people. Right. So I mean, R. Kelly was writing for himself and other people. Brian Michael Cox wasn't writing for himself. Everything he was writing, he was writing for other people. Right. But even in that case, if you are gonna say that, nigga, you got to throw a nigga like Diddy in there because Diddy wrote a lot of R and B hits yeah. that we don't people don't give him no respect. JD, no. Shit, JD wrote got down the Usher JD, shit. He wrote the you whole Usher shit. Saying? Escape. Come, Come on. on, yeah, you know. Well, he really got that. I need to get some. Well, now nah, because they have to be like producer R and B producer king R and B producers. Nah, they can't be just them. They got to be king of producers. You can't just put them in on king of R and B producer. Maybe Brian Michael Cox. <laughs> I mean J D up there with him though. But J D got produced on both ends. He's got hits. On R and B, and he got like yeah. rap hits. Same with Diddy. Like that's why you can't just say you can't categorize them as just R and B. I mean, I wouldn't just categorize them, but I'm just for the list sake. You know what I'm saying? For the king of R and B producer list. I mean, I put you know Brian Michael Cox at the top of it. Yeah. And when you break down his list and the shit he wrote, you might throw. It's, it's a lot of motherfuckers we probably ain't even getting to. See, that's why I said niggas ain't even saying his name at all. So I was like, why niggas ain't giving him his respect? He didn't wrote. He didn't had the hits. He don't really longevity. But that's what I mean. Yes, but they say that about Chris Brown too. But Chris Brown, the R and B nigga, he go pop too. He still got it. He'll have a pop and an R and B hit all at the same time. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. Chris Brown, he's versatile. Pause. I don't know why I pause, but I feel funny calling the nigga versatile. I mean, he is versatile though. <laughs> I mean, that shit ain't. It's not. There's nothing possible about that. I I said this and I I mean he's the he's of whatever generation it's not I can't say it's my generation because I was still on Michael Jackson in my generation but see I wouldn't put Chris Brown in the generation with Jacquees just because of yeah no 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 I'm I'm not even I'm not even talking about them but I'm saying I mean you know they was bringing up him too for like the new new people you know what I'm saying bringing up niggas like Chris Brown and shit but they he been out for so long you know what I'm saying he can't yeah he just he makes hits like he he can't be Categorized, I don't know. Like I said, Chris Brown is a generation who of, put the Tory Lane in the, in the himself. <laughs> he inserted himself. He just need to excerpt himself because Tory Lane is trolling and he's doing what you just said and he's working. He's been doing it since the joining Lucas shit. So he and I don't know what nobody's talking about. That nigga lost that shit. Who Tory Lane? <laughs> yeah, he ain't fucking with Jordan Lucas. Oh, uh, speaking of kings of shit, do we guess we're going to backtrack to this? 
we've talked about this before and it just got kind of big again what? Migos the biggest group a conversation then Bone gets involved in this conversation Migos definitely bigger than Bone <sighs> I said it's right, and anything he said to that nigga, I don't know why niggas just think they deserve respect just because they did it first. Yeah, you know I get it. I don't look out of respect you because you. But you can't disrespect like Bone was like a nobody group. It was one of the biggest groups in the world too. At one point, it was, but not as big as Migo, and not for as long as the Migo. Hmm. You know. I mean, what do you mean by as long as the Migos? Because they had they, they had that big, 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 big group like that for no more than about five or six years. Okay, if that. Okay, but the Migos is there now as being the biggest right. group. Like they only been there a couple of years. The Migos been running about a good solid four straight. I give them about four, so they still got uh, they still got uh, a little hits. bit. They still got a catch bone in a couple more years. I get that, but see that's just time. But they still got more hits in the time frame. That they but because it's an easier time for them to make and release hits. I wouldn't say that. Come on, man. Yeah, it is. I wouldn't say that. It is, man. They go back to the conversation we had about how the labels control the radio, so they gonna push the songs out that they want. Out. The hit, the hits weren't chosen by us. A lot in of that time, okay. In that time, yeah, I get that. You know what that that's what I'm saying. In that time, so it, it was easier if you got to do a big label and they finna push your shit like that. Your shit gonna be a hit. Okay, I get that aspect. What you're saying, but what I'm saying is, even if that was the case, it still would take them forever, even just to get uh to get to that point. Like I mean, because it was so much to do as far as making music and even just getting it released. Like in the Migos case, they can make some shit and release it next week. Like they can really just. Right. Make shit and get it released, and it can be out, and they can just. It can, right. and then, but but and when then, you got full, when the fans and, got full control out of all the people that can do exactly what the Migos are doing, and you still the number one thing, that's harder than you coming up with some shit in the label, just forcing that shit I, out. I don't and know. It every hour on the hour, and the only where you, the only place you can nah, listen to music. I, I ain't gonna say that. I think the Migos got an easier, easier grind in them. In this area I mean it's easier For motherfucker. The, the way Music is Received And able to get Since the Migos Been hot Is why I think They can consistently See what, Do what they do And the numbers And shit look crazy what, as fuck I, because, what I think Because people Not technically Going out And purchasing Shit no more Like, right. like that's see, what I'm saying so they, See what I think Though In a In a In a time Where people can Where the world Can choose Everybody in the world Can do what the Migos are doing there was a point in time where if you got a record deal, everybody in the world can't get a record deal. So if you got a record deal, it's that much more easier for you than everybody else in the world. But see, in this time now, people like to, all the big groups are on the same playing field as everybody else. So it's just people's choice. So people choosing to listen to these folks and them, they being number one versus your shit just being played over and over on the only source where we can get music from. Okay, even with that said, you're still kind of, the Migos is still getting the same type of thing because their hits aren't just coming from people listening to them on their phone. Most of their hits are being forced down that throat behind the labels, behind the labels say anyway. Like for real. Not for really because you I, ain't really forced to listen okay, to what okay. you want to listen to. The, the, the Migos song that popped them, popped them was forced upon us, right? By 300. Obviously, that's that's why started everything, and that's why the Migos really been hot what? since then. The Versace? Bad and bu- bad and bougie, bad and bougie was what really pushed them over like the eclipse of the biggest shit ever. That's them. That's they'll tell you that shit. But bad and right, that's it is. But but see, they had some. They had shit. Bad but, and bougie was like some internet shit. True, but what I'm saying is, after it caught, but they still had a label behind them at the time that pushed it on the radios and everything else. I get the internet hit of it. Right, but I, that I, shit I respect was I, viral, I, probably tens of okay. twenties of millions of views before it even hit the radio. But what I'm saying is this: they still have people behind them that's doing the same thing as far as getting that shit on the radio and it's getting played. Like I get that. I get that they're producing a lot of hits. I, I'm not. I'm not discrediting it. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm pretty sure they're gonna have way more hits than Bone. Like they, it Bone does a harmony. Like this, this hands down. I can see that. But I don't think I'm saying is like. I think it's easier for them to be in that that way. They they started their wave. I just think this time in era music, once you get enough buzz, it's easier for you to just 
continue. It's easy for you to eat in that but shit. But that's right? what I'm saying. That what makes it harder because in this time frame now, you got to get that buzz. But see, the thing about the Migos is, it it wasn't they they worked their way to being where they're at. Right, like so. Even I get, I by get people liking by, them by the buzz that they was acquired. Yes, not I get by them just making some shit and being put on radio with a big artist, and then you know, what I'm saying? yeah, just what I'm saying. I get it. I get like, well, they've been the hottest, the hottest group in the world. I'm saying for like the last four or five years. We obviously we've been in the south. We've been seeing the Migos longer than right. they've been the biggest shit. In the world right. So like they got to where They deserve to be at. They kind of people Be trying to discredit them Which they shouldn't But I just feel like Sometimes The new I ain't saying they got to Pay no homage to Bone Cause they ain't in the same Lane as Bone I don't mean Laser right. Bone Just jumped in some shit That statistically Offset can prove Like nigga We are gonna be, We are bigger than The right. Beatles Like right. Like people are still Looking at it like Okay The Beatles sold These many albums And like it, That shit got out of hand too That whole debate Got Super out of hand, kind of how we was just getting to and forth to that shit. It's like, but it, it's just it, it really got just too far like out of hand. It's like motherfuckers hate, like, like <clears throat> I feel like the industry has a bias toward the South for some reason. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And it's like mm. people just hate to really give a give the South just that recognition like that. True, especially New York motherfuckers and shit. Yeah, because then you know they started bringing up. I mean, that, that's what I'm saying. That started between that was between Bone and Migos, right? But right. then they branched off into the Outcasts and Wu Tang. Like, come on, man, y'all stupid shit. I don't know why I, it, it's Bone Thugs and Harmony. You don't have a chance to even compete with the Migos no. now in this day and era. I don't care how legendary you think you are like no. you're not gonna be able to drop an album and it's gonna show the world like I told y'all niggas we still can no it's not gonna happen did, and what y'all done did so far ain't enough yeah uh, I ain't gonna say that they did some shit I don't, I don't, I don't discredit what they done did so far ain't enough to put them to my, they fuck with the Migos I'm not gonna say that now, now you now come on now you discrediting their hits I mean the Migos got way more hits than Bob maybe more but bigger let's say who, bigger hits cause the then that, that's a different I don't think they got nothing. The Crossroads, bro. The Crossroads. Nah. The Crossroads. Bad and bougie bigger than the Crossroads. The Crossroads. Oh my God. The Crossroads, bro. All right. I'm. I'm. Nope. Nope. The Crossroads. I got no way. I'm not even gonna. I'm not gonna discredit Bone Thugs. I'm not, I'm not even let you do that shit to me. I'm him. not trying to discredit Bone Thugs. But you try. I, was, I mean, we talking about bigger hits. Them in this argument. In these arguments, they got they, they, they got a big ass song with Stain that I can't even think of how, the other song right now that was big as fuck too. Like them, they don't 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 do them. Migos got some hits and shit. Now I ain't saying they got hits, but we talking about like bigger, right? Migos don't do got both big of them. hits, man. They got big hits of right now. Nah, I get I that. Migos got got hits, longevity hits. We don't know that yet. They got longevity. Hits. We don't know that yet. We still living in the Migos there. <laughs> like you know, we still living in the Migos there right now. Like we don't know if they got longevity hits yet. I mean, I don't know if we still they still got longevity hits. I mean, niggas ain't really back train playing their hits now. But you heard, you heard I, this our subject. But you heard the shit that Gucci Man was talking about. Um, Eminem. Yeah, yeah, I seen that shit. Yeah, see, man, that's exactly how I feel. <laughs> I mean, he <laughs> made sense. He made sense. That's exactly how I feel. He worded that shit good. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody riding listening to no motherfucking Eminem. And they not, and, they, and then niggas got in that conversation. Like that's what I'm saying. Nigga got in that shit. Ain't nobody full blown. To know Eminem. No, don't listen to Eminem. Like, come on, man. Y'all niggas just niggas be trying to discredit Gucci too. Right. That's why I say it's a bias. South. South. I ain't gonna say that. No, I'm. Not, I, I know. No, I'm right. not even. No, no. Whoa, I wasn't even talking about like up north niggas. I was talking about niggas that in, in my own fucking city. Dude. Right. I know it because I'm, I'm, I'm not because saying they too tuned in the industry and take too much into what like the industry talking conversation is. To me, that's what I feel. I feel. You know what I'm saying because I, I've unless Joe Bud and them, we know y'all be listening to us because they've changed their whole stance on the Gucci Man conversation. Like they're with that shit. They're right. like, yeah. Gucci is right, right. Like they, like they get like certain people. They get it. They they get it. When you look at the tree of Gucci, niggas get it. Now. Right. You have so, to. I don't see how you don't see but that shit. I was talking about niggas like in my city that was like, I don't listen to Gucci either, but I listen to Eminem on ride or like, come on, bro, like stupid shit. <laughs> oh, man. Stupid niggas, shit man. Like that's what I'm saying. I get this. Like y'all see, I'm passionate about music, and I like music, and I love music. I I, I really do. 
Like, but y'all niggas can't be so close minded with that shit. Like, y'all be trying to discredit motherfuckers because you don't, you didn't like them. The thing about, right, I was just gonna say, the thing about critiquing music is what you like ain't gonna matter like that. You know what I'm saying? It, nigga, you, it's clear what Gucci done done. You know what I'm saying? Just because you personally don't like his music or him or whatever the shit is, you know what I'm saying? You can't not give a nigga credit for that. Exactly. So, oh, I mean, speaking of that type of conversation, you seen the Kodak Ebro, right? Hey, yeah, yeah, I was just thinking that shit. Um, Ebro a fuck nigga. <clears throat> yeah, Ebro fuck nigga for that one. I don't care how you want to try to fix that shit. You a real fuck nigga. You can't fix that shit. You a real fuck nigga. He like Kodak. He don't want to give Kodak no type of credit. Ebro a real fuck nigga though. Yeah. See, cause he really abides toward the south to me. Especially the new young niggas yeah. and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He definitely buys to that shit because he a big up motherfucker like Joey Badass and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, but see, this is what I, I don't even like to keep. Don't, don't I don't want you to even keep wording it about like just because he one of them niggas that don't fuck with the South nigga because it's niggas here. Yeah. That that say the same like yeah, yeah. 21 Sam shout out 21 he just dropped this shit and niggas like Kodak I say them two names because we had this conversation many podcasts ago about okay these niggas gonna last or whatever right, right. but the thing about them two is I seen 21 really done changed up his rapping as far as like he's becoming he's a rapper now like he's right. a rapper same thing with Kodak but Kodak been spinning the long gas both of them really though yeah That's how you could really foresee the shit cause you could tell by how they rapping Early, you know what I'm saying, man. You can't help but give a nigga like Kodak respect. If you if you could find a way to not give him his credit and all that shit, you just really hating. You a fuck nigga, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Then motherfucker trying to say the nigga sounded dumb and all that shit and all like the nigga Kodak just spoke like you just because how a nigga talk about all that shit, you know what I'm saying? That nigga made sense with everything he talked about, you know what I'm saying? It ain't for everybody. Like a bad it, 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 ain't, it ain't for everybody to get. That's you know what I'm saying? Like that's what I'm saying. Like, all right, if you if you already got a, a an opinion about Kodak Black, you can go into the interview looking at all the shit the right. worst possible way you gonna look at right, shit. Right, right, right. Like, if you go into that shit kind of understanding Kodak, then when you listen to the interview, the shit makes sense to you. Like, right. That okay, that makes sense. Right. I understand exactly what he's saying. Right. Like, 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 bro, it's it's a secret knowledge to, like, having some type of just, some type of knowledge just in general. I don't but know how see, to put it. But see, the thing, is, yeah, you just got a, you got a personal bias off the rip. Only thing you know about Kodak is the songs, that big, the big, the big songs. And that show, you know what I'm saying? He, Ebro ain't no, 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 he don't know nothing about no damn Kodak. And, he, you know what I'm and saying? Then even when you listening to Kodak in the interview, he's saying, like, I dumb my songs down. Like, he said, I ain't even like the radio shit y'all like, all the hits and shit. I don't right. even like no shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? He said, right. this shit I made just to, 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 to do the shit, just to be like, all right. Come on, man. Because I know this shit nigga gonna fuck with radio shit and shit. So, oh, man. I just hate these music heads, man. If y'all music heads, don't be biased. Listen to motherfuckers' projects and then really like listen to these motherfuckers. Like, oh, you go into that shit saying you a music head, and then nigga be biased of the opinion to the uh, niggas be biased because of the opinion of motherfuckers who they like and who they look up to and different shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Or who they consider the big, you know, like the industry shit, man. That shit just I don't see how a nigga from here. Can't really say something about some goddamn Eminem or somebody over Gucci. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like that shit don't even make sense. Cause niggas is talking. That's them lyrical man. There's no people that talk about lyrics and. But that's what I'm saying. It's like they don't. Li- okay, bro. Niggas don't. Niggas don't think niggas got lyrics if they can't comprehend or even know what the niggas talking about. All right. So if if Gucci be talk like Gucci and Kodak got some fucking bars. Bars, but if they not on that, like I get, I don't know, I don't even know how to explain it, bro. It's like, delivery, th- yeah, if they just de- nah. it's delivery, it's the lingo. Oh, yeah, I ain't, I, that shit crazy, that shit crazy, but yeah. So, Gucci, I understand you. I, I've never in my life probably rode around listening to Eminem. 
I've yeah, always uh, at some point in my life there's been phases in my life that I can guarantee you I've been riding around listening to Gucci at some point like in my car by myself like just you know what I'm saying? I've never been in my car by myself and I'm gonna listen to this him and him today right like okay nah come on I get it Gucci um man we trying to do a lot of shit Joel Santana 27 months you heard about that shit yeah Damn. I don't think that Joel Santana no more. Didn't they say he had a twin brother or something back in the day? Yeah. I think that his brother good. Wow, right, man. I don't know, man. Something just different about that nigga. Because he got false teeth and shit now, man. That nigga don't even sound the same no more. They been on drugs and shit, bro. They oh, see oh. for I don't know. I don't know, man. I think that's his brother, man. Um. <laughs> they had a little deal or something like, nigga, I'm going to be the nigga for the first 10 years. <laughs> And, and Kodak was nominated for a goddamn Bodak Yellow too. I didn't know that shit. Yeah, cause he got some type of rights to shit to the shit. And that nigga's only twenty one. Yeah, young nigga. What you call this youngest? Every time I think about that shit, Kodak Young, Chief Keith Young. Who else I had seen somebody with youngest fuck? I was like, God damn. For every time I was like, Kodak is twenty one. Nigga, kids, man. Mm. Offset and Cardi. You want to talk about that shit? At this point, I think it's for the publicity now. Did you see her new video? No. Uh, uh, I'm gonna say I've never seen a Cardi B video. <laughs> you know, just people just uh, shout, uh, shout out to Cardi or whatever, bro. But it's kind of getting sickening to me in a way because it's like you know how people just love people so much, bro. Like they just like overhype them to me now. Yeah. Like it's just getting to that point. That's what. That's yeah. all it is. That's yeah. all it is to me now. It's like everything it's she do. She, yeah. Cause a reaction to motherfuckers like, oh, did you see Cardi? Did you see how she shaking her ass in that video? I'm like, I watched the video because I just stricted because everybody was telling me to watch the video. I just right. had to see if what, but I was like, okay, man, y'all niggas is just <laughs> taking it too far. Oh, man, she's shaking her ass. Okay, it's Cardi B. I, I I don't know. Like I was on her side. I like Cardi B. I think it's for the for the cause they just the attention now. You know what I'm saying? They probably, they back together. They probably wasn't even finna be that big. They just were arguing, you know what I'm saying? I could believe that. I could believe that, too. I could believe all the shit was a publicity stunt. I, 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 I ain't gonna I, say I, all I, of it was. They probably were arguing. She tweeted that shit. He tweeted that shit, bad boom. Then they probably got back straight, but then it just was played just off so man. gone on the internet. Like, shit, fuck it, man. They got that, you know what I'm saying? I think that somebody said it's on, on vacation or something today. Yeah. yeah I don't know. Man, I'm fuck trolling. Man, bro. It's the world we live in right now. Uh, Attention, man. Shout out to that black wrestler. I do not got his name. Have you seen that shit yesterday? No. That black wrestler, high school wrestler, bro. The nigga made him cut off his dreads in the middle of the match. Hell no. Nah. Hell yeah, and he won still. But it's some fucked up shit. The ju- yeah, the Couldn't referee, the saying. referee made him cut his goddamn. He ain't had no loan. Loan was in that guy, but you know what I'm saying. It's still just the point of the matter. He, cut, cut, I don't know. He was trying to disqualify him in the championship match. He won still at the end, but he started there letting him cut shit off. I was like, God damn, that's some fucked up shit, boy. Boy, boy, boy. boy. Yeah, that fucked up. That boy, 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 boy. They was expecting him to just be like, hell, nah, get the qualified. So that's what's the honorable thing, my brother, but not. not I, Wouldn't have been me. I'd have yeah. throw the referee in the hole. As soon as they did qualify me, me and you finna fight then. But had he took that stand, though, that might have changed. He, he, either way, he's he good in my book. He won, showed nigga he was fighting away. You know, so but hey he took that stand, but that would have been something big there. Yeah. That was something big there, but I can't believe they would even tell him to do that. Allow a person to do that. Yeah, that shit just Man, they allow anything depending on who it is and what the situation is, you know. Everything is situational. Yeah. Oh man, Kevin Hart, we talked about that shit. Shout out Kevin Hart, the Oscar shit. What's the, it's some new shit. No, nah, I'm just saying we ain't, we ain't have a chance to talk about the shit last time. Did we? Nah. Mm. With the whole he stepped down after they found the gay shit. You know he apologized out the, like he apologized years before. Yeah. He stepped down. Just just them taking advantage of power or what they thought they had. That's a good stance to make though, nigga. Fuck your show. You know. 
That nigga is really goddamn. Hey, shout out to Kevin Hart, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah he been doing his thing. I got everybody. I when I when people, I know I get in a lot of debates, especially with his comedian shit. Yeah. Because I always put him in my top five. I know he's corny at times. I get the movies are repetitive, yeah. but I'm a fan of him because I was a fan of him when I first ever seen this nigga ever, and I was yeah. like, yo, he funny. Yeah. So I've been his fan before he was him, big as he is. Like that, though, you know? Yeah, so I seeing him as big as he is, bro. Like I, you know, how sometimes in your life you just watch somebody grow that you ain't never ever met in your life, but you kind of feel like, oh man, right? Like LeBron right. in a way. See the whole, yeah, uh, even like LeBron to me, like LeBron when LeBron when he like, God, man, I, I was on this journey with this nigga, right. but I've never in my life. Or like Ti, T, that is the Gucci. Ti, you know I, I mean? Gucci. I've seen. I watch Gucci's. I watch Gucci. Every move Gucci's made. Right. right from the beginning, right. but you know, I really became a fan of Gucci like later on. If that makes sense, but I still watch the grind. Yeah. I still watch the grind. Right. But yeah, Ti, you, but you, that that is why I'm always Ti is my favorite rapper of all time. So I get why people could be like, why? But that's because nigga, I watched this nigga like literally nobody was fucking with him. To damn. I remember being the only motherfucker. I remember being the one person in my city waking up. Early in the morning to go buy trap music, bro. Like the nigga was like, "Why are you at the store so early for this shit?" Like, <laughs> like nigga, this trap music, this Ti second shit, cause like, bro, like you were like here you go, bro. <laughs> nobody I, out there. Yeah, nobody was there, bro. <laughs> you remember that store? What's that store called? What's it called a Camelot or some shit? Well, we used to couldn't have been Camelot. We used to get the loot tape from and shit on the north side. I know what you're talking about, though. Couldn't have been coming out of them. Dude, we used to go goddamn make some little chinga chingas. <laughs> but, yeah, man. And Camelot was over here, too. Yeah. I forgot the name of the goddamn place. I kind of never forgave you for, like, getting my loot shit took. I just want you to know that. Oh, yeah. uh, you know what I'm saying? My therapist said I should let shit out more. And I just want you to know I've been holding on that shit forever. Right. Um, I apologize. I, I left them with you. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. that, was, that was a lot. You know, I, I invested a lot in see see, you know why it hurt me so much, bro? I gotta I gotta say this. Um because I was that guy that literally went and bought every one of those, you know? Like yeah. volume one, volume two, waited in the store to volume whatever came out. Like it was like my thing. Right? <laughs> like I, I invested a lot of money in that shit. Yeah. Right? Um Freak fans, I had to, yeah. you know, I always imagined one day I was going to have them all meet Luke. Like, look, Luke, I got them all. You know, I was like, the bitches that used to be on the Luke table, I knew I was going to see them one day and be like, I remember you. Like Pitbull. I respect the fuck out of Pitbull. I don't give him enough respect. And, <laughs> yeah. and motherfuckers that, that understand what Pit I'm talking Bull about, Pitbull was the rapper on the Luke Freak Fest. Yeah. I seen Pitbull go from nigga with, uh, with braids, with the bitches on stage, Eat the Porsche, like you know, <laughs> rapping and all that shit <laughs> to being pit bull. So you know what I'm saying? Like it's certain people. I like, be like, okay, but yeah, man. Only real motherfuckers know what I'm talking about with that little free fish shit, though. Like I have not really met people in life that's like even going to admit to it or act like it never existed. Like nigga, that shit was the shit. I just love that shit. Fuck wrong with y'all. It was weird as fuck, but <laughs> my shit. I mean, it, it was really nothing. But bitches like doing stupid shit on stage. I never went to a two live crew show. I was so invested in that shit. I bought the two live crew like spinoffs. <clears throat> two live crew. <laughs> two, come on, man. His. Fun fact. I know if my mama listened to this episode, she better destroy this shit, right? My uncle got some shit of some bitches from Columbus, bro. At like one of the first family in the parks. I stumbled across that shit one time as a teenager. I should have kept it. I should have hid it then. I should have stole it. I should have stole that shit. Because if you seen that shit, you'd be like, nigga. It was like you would think Freak Nick was in Columbus. It was. But it was. But it was like, <laughs> this shit was hard. Like, it was like, turn. and I was there. Like, I was there. And I would see myself as a child there. Like, oh, shit. But it was time. I remember being there as a child. Because my uncle was from Mobile. Right. Had my mama camcorder. Out that bitch up. 
What's that shit? Cooper Creek. Yeah. That street. Yeah. Nigga had that shit so turned cause he had them bitches going crazy. And I'm about to be like, <laughs> I remember my mom was mad as fuck, right? Cause he like it went from like family day in the party straight to that shit. Cause like like he was proud of that shit. He was proud of his work, my nigga. He wanted everybody bruh, to see it. Cause, bruh, nigga, we see it. That shit. We went straight to my grandma house to show my uncle Junior. You know what I'm saying? My uncle Junior, like, oh shit, like he was like <laughs> shit, like like the the bitch is getting wild, cause like they getting wild. Cooper Creek right there in his car, like he and he got them. Uh, he used to bark. He wanted what them got them motherfucking. Hoo, 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 hoo. Yeah. Like he got the cat and shit. He tripping. He put it on camera. Like look at this shit. Like, I was like, oh shit. Like it went straight from key sweat cut clothes. It went from all this nice shit to like. Him walking out like, like we leaving. He can't, we, we leaving. We leave. He see some bitches walking and shit. He just like, what y'all gonna do? You know what I mean? Them bitches just say, what? Nigga. Ugh. Oh, shit. <laughs> the other niggas start coming up with their camp quarters. Bruh, I never forget my mama's reaction when she first seen that shit. When she got home that night and watched that shit. He, we in there watching that shit like a family. Cause like, yeah, come on. Let's watch the family in the park. Shit back. He like, yeah, nigga. And the shit got wild. She was pissed off. I bet that nigga just that bitch like, oh, God <laughs> If I ever find that tape, my nigga, I'm scared to look at it. I'm scared to look at that shit because I always say when I looked at that shit, then like, oh, what if you know, like, oh no, no, what is it? That's somebody grandma, cause that's somebody mama no more. That's somebody grandma now, cause yeah. <laughs> that's somebody grandma. That's the worst shit ever. If you find out your mama was on one of them freak nick tapes in the nineties or some shit, cuz like, oh hell no. Nah. Like, <laughs> whoa. What the fuck? <laughs> you fuck that. Oh, oh what is shit? Black Beach Week, nigga, your mama one of them motherfucking tapes popping and shit. Like, oh my God. Oh my God, bro. My auntie, man, cut that shit out. Yeah, nigga. Yeah, I used to say that shit. It used to kinda of fuck me up. That my grandma. Say, bro, I seen your auntie on the fleet. Like, come on, cuz. <laughs> That fuck up a nigga like, cuz. Huh? Like, what you mean, bro? First of all, like, no. <laughs> no. Like, first I'll do my auntie. <laughs> Man, that shit'll be fucked up, though, bro. That Luke Freak Fest shit. Somebody mamas was on that bitch getting nasty. Mama and grandma. Oh. Like oh, my God. Somebody go back and watch that shit. Like, somebody mama done got saved. That shit gonna come crying. Saved, out sanctified. That, that shit gonna come back out. Like, mama, you was an Uncle Luke. <laughs> you was an Uncle Luke, girl. Come on, man. Find out your mama got down was a, a groupie or something, cuz. Hey, mama, you what? Wait, like, what? <laughs> your mama be a groupie for a crazy ass <laughs> motherfucker, too. You did what for Sinbad? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> what the fuck, what? <laughs> Say. You know the black nigga that do the voices on goddamn Police Academy? Like, nah, mama. I don't, <laughs> I don't even know his name. <laughs> well, Mookie Blade on. Um. <laughs> Stacy Ah, me mom with a plastic <laughs> bag, mama. <laughs> That's a fucked up shit, that good. That's a fucked up shit. Got my mind fucked up. That's like it. you did what with Uncle Sam? <laughs> <laughs> you what with Raheem the Dream, mama? <laughs> hey, man. Mm-mm. DJ Tad. Boy, boy, boy. That's not no conversation you want to have with your mama. The whole old camp. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be more like women in our generation. <laughs> the whole oh yeah. Oh, I ain't even think about that shit, cuz. Uh, think about like think about women from our generations, right? Uh, that's growing up, having their families and shit, right? But they <laughs> shit that you can remember about them. That's not like that's not about that. I didn't want to say that, but you know, like when you saying the whole oot count, the whole oot count had to be somebody from our generation, right? Find out like you what? The <laughs> <laughs> shout out to people that change their lives, you know, especially the ones that get saved. Do or die. <laughs> 
crucial conflict. Man, come well. on, man, that crucial conflict. Oh <laughs> shit! I ain't say crucial conflict. That crucial conflict on that. Yeah. But yeah. Sorry, the crucial conflict. Crucial conflict is the shit, man. Crucial conflict, man. The Baja, it. man. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell is the Baja, man? Huh? Who the hell is the Baja? Who let them dogs out? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Somebody like that. Fuck your life up. Ugh. Anyway, man. Oh, shit. Oh. Uh, you do LeBron AD talk you, you heard about that You know this uh, Whatever about that shit I don't I believe like He alright Get him over there bro they Bro ain't gonna get him over there For the trade I ain't gonna get him bro Bro ain't gonna get him Why Yeah I keep wishing and hoping Hoping and praying gonna get Lakers trying to do their thing though line. They ain't gonna get him Now I don't wanna give up too much They gonna give up too much for him bro Not really Yeah they will bro Like what They gonna give up I know you don't care Ball Good um, Kuzma probably. No, nah, they gonna keep Kuzma. Ingram. They gonna keep Ingram. See who else they gonna give up then? Because that's the only three pieces that people want. Bow. Josh Hart. No. They'll give us some bullshit. No. Nah. nah, they don't give up Ingram and Kuzma. Exactly. But that's what they gonna want. Do you think them niggas ain't gonna want one of them for Anthony Davis? They gonna want all of them for Anthony Davis. I give them Bow and Kuzma. He angry. He AD. I fuck with cool, but I don't know. I like them both. <laughs> you know, it's hard to see. You, you, you on 2K? I'm out. What kind of question is that? I mean, because y'all, you know, I be, I be out. I be out there now. I be in the park. I be everywhere. What question is that, man? You know? I be in the cages and shit. Okay. Okay. I mean, I'm okay. sorry at fuck, but, you know, I ain't won a game out in that bitch, but shit. Right. I be there. Right, right. Nigga see me running around out there. Okay, okay. <laughs> You know, they don't never want to pass me the ball. Like, I don't even be trying to be no ball. Right. Like, I really be like, ugh, trying yeah. to dish it off. That's yeah. what I am. I'm a dish it off kind of nigga. Yeah, right. If it's open, it's there. You know? You in the cages or anything? You playing online like that? Or you I just... really like the cages, man. I go get on the court. Yeah, the cages you know suck. The cages so, suck. I don't, I don't like, like all that extra shit. Yeah. But you be on there like that, you ain't never seen me a like, goddamn. We could run together. I mean, unless you that, you that good, you know. Yeah, I mean, I, I ain't never like a 70 something, so you might not want to run with a nigga like me. I'm like a, I'm like an 84, I think. Okay, see, so, you know, I'm a little. I didn't realize how disrespectful I was, that, that was to people until a nigga said that shit when I was playing online. And she's like, nigga, this nigga, you're a 70. I was like, oh, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, nigga? I was like a 73 at the time, so she said, nigga, look at this nigga, he's a 70. I was playing, I was hooping, though, but nigga blew pad me a couple times, you know what I'm saying? He like, that's what you get when you got down, got a 70 on you. Like, nigga, fuck you. And the man, you try, what you trying to say, nigga? Nigga, I ain't putting no money, I'm trying to earn my shit, and nigga. I mean, he on your team, because you can't even talk to fuck that mm. on your team, can you? Nah, yeah, everybody was talking. He was one of those, okay. like, Two on what was three on three? And yeah, yeah. yeah nigga was talking. Everybody that because they was on the other team. Like, look at this 70. <laughs> 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 nigga both for having nigga look at this 70, nigga. Free peak. Yeah, nigga. And then I saw a play as a defense. They kind of was like, uh, they didn't say too much shit. I made a couple shots, made a couple plays, but still it was at the end of the day, it was still like, look at this 70 ass yeah, nigga. Yeah. That kind of scared me away from the court for a minute. Got like fuck this shit up. You know, I came back with a little 70 something and still got smoked, but I was like, like Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to make me go buy some motherfucking VCs and shit. Yeah. Yeah, I had to make me go buy some VCs, man. Fuck them, man. You old silver dad nigga. Fuck y'all bitch ass. I'm going to get the 80 soon. I'm going to get the 80 soon on y'all bitch ass nigga. Yeah. But I be goddamn, you know. Just so you know, if you was looking for a nigga, you need somebody to run with you. Fuck you, Rob. Not playing with your ass. You probably a 99 with five characters. Fuck you. Yeah. Um, Thule, probably you too. Fuck you too, nigga. Because I know you probably about 90 something on that bitch too. I'm trying to think all niggas I know be gaming like that. Nigga Thule be about them on. He play all the goddamn shit. Yeah. Shout out to my nigga Thule. But nope. You don't send me no... uh. Quick, right? Like, Cause I don't, I don't need your, uh, I don't need that energy that you gonna, cause you gonna talk that shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. He gonna talk that shit like off the game. He might see me somewhere and be like, yeah, nigga, with your sorry ass, yeah, no, seventy four. Like, right, come on, bro. Like you got, <laughs> I'm trying to give me something to eat, nigga. Here come this old seventy seven ass nigga. I ain't running with that seventy seven ass nigga. I can see Tula doing that shit to me. You know, like I don't want to pick him up. All right. Come on, man. 
Y'all niggas like that. But you said you're an 80-something. You might be. You might have that bias, too. So fuck you, too. You know what I'm saying? You got that bias. I ain't hey. playing that shit on, in a little minute online like that. Though, okay. Okay, okay. But you know what I'm saying? I am in my goddamn career. You know, I like to get deep into that. I don't know if I want to get FIFA or if I want to get Battlefield 5. That's my next decision. I got to make that decision kind of quickly because it's going to go off sale before Christmas. So, you know what I'm saying? Merry like, Christmas, too. Yeah, Merry Christmas to everybody. Yeah, everybody. Happy, happy. So, that's my next dilemma, though, bro. You know, fuck really. I don't really give a fuck about Battlefield 5. It's just, it's on sale. Yeah. But I like FIFA. You know what I'm saying? FIFA like, I, go hard. FIFA go hard. Pause. You really got pause. Yeah. I mean. It's a sport. Whatever, man. I beat your ass at FIFA. Yeah. I sm- I can't beat your ass at FIFA. Nah. I got FIFA 16. Don't don't play with me. Nah. Um, I'm I get that shit, bro. You can't. I beat your ass at FIFA, bro. You ain't even, you don't even play no FIFA, cuz. Come on, FIFA, bro. bro. Come on, bro. You don't even play, play FIFA. FIFA, bro. What's the last FIFA you played, bro? FIFA. It's, come on, cuz you bullshit. You you ain't doing nothing talking shit, cuz you don't even play FIFA. Nah, you ain't even beat me in no FIFA. Man. I beat your ass in FIFA, bro. Yeah, man. Bro, my AJ would probably beat your ass in FIFA. AJ, I put my money on AJ and anything. Euro, you heard me say that. And Euro, think yeah, I ain't gonna talk no shit with Euro. We ain't got, we had a little mad and shit, but we been had some technical difficulties. I got something for you too, Euro. We even right now anyway, so it don't matter. Nick, shout out to the stuff. Yeah, shout out to that step. He know I beat your ass in FIFA because he'll beat your ass in FIFA. Because nah. I can beat him in FIFA, but he'll beat your ass in FIFA. You beat me in Man, nothing. Euro Stepper will beat your ass in FIFA. You're going to beat me in nothing. FIFA, Madden, 2K. He won't beat me in nothing. Hey. Yeah, that's the, that's the power of technology, nigga. <laughs> Yeah, bro, quick question. Yes. We, we're recording, right? Mm-hmm. Can Timmy beat me? Or T did, I'm sorry. First, let me start with this. Can T did beat me in FIFA? Hell no, I can't. Hey, See, crazy. I said, I said, okay. yeah. I beat both of y'all niggas in FIFA. In what FIFA. Said, you know, listen, the closest thing T did it will ever win in. It's 2K. He might beat you in 2K. Nigga, I had you sweating in Madden the last time 2K. we played. 2K. I get him 2K. But FIFA, though. Yeah. What happened last time we played Madden? Bro, you know how it is when you play around with a sorry nigga and it get close. You got to beat him at the end. Man, of get out of here, See? man. You won by like a field goal, man. See? All right, Euro. Hey, I just wanted to get that on. Uh, I, and I could beat your ass in FIFA, too. I'm just going you know that, too. I, I was just saying that on the show. A couple times we play FIFA, I beat the shit out of you. Oh, man, I don't remember you beating the shit out of me in no man, FIFA, bro. Man. They just came out with a new FIFA. We can get on it. It ain't shit. See, that's what I was just having a debate if I should buy the new FIFA because it's on sale. Yeah, but definitely. See, FIFA, see, yeah. see I'm going to beat your ass at FIFA and I'm going to beat your ass at FIFA. All right, bro. We need to live stream it. Nigga, don't be trying to put business that. Like, you, you snitching. That's snitching. <laughs> you trying to snitch. All right, bro. Hey, Euro. Yeah, 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 Hell is he saying? He'll be swearing, bro. Hey, right, 2K, though. You, I give you respect to 2K. I seen it. I seen it. I seen it. I seen it. But what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, 2K, I will give you your respect at that, right? Well, I still let a minute, though. I'm going to beat your ass at that. Like, you know, you know, that's just the nature of things. I don't lose at 2K, though. Oh, I'm going to beat your ass at 2K. Yeah, I don't lose. I'm going to beat your ass at 2K. Uh, listen to me. I'm going to get at you at 2K. That's, that's my. That's my. That's my New Year's resolution. Uh, 2019, I'm going to get at your ass in 2K, bro. I just want you to know that. I mean, we can play it right now. Nah, we can't play it right now. Shit. If we could have played it right now, I'd have been like, nigga, what's up? We can't play it right now. You want to know why we can't play it right now? What's Would up? you like to really know? Nope. And I tell you, no, it's the truth. Not a little personal. It's not personal. Okay. It's, it's not personal. It's not personal. It's, the, it's really the truth. It's the truth is when you become, um, you know how some niggas say, hey, man, I wish my girl would gain. You don't really want that shit. Okay. You don't want that shit. Right. She get a game that she like, right. and then it's like y'all system now. Right. It's not y'all system. It's mine. Right. She's playing my shit right now. Yeah. She's playing some shit in there right now that I bought. Mm-hmm. To be like, no, you know, she bought it, but I told her to buy it. Because, right. you know, she was like, oh, I'm bored. Buy this shit. Right. On my Why game. Why did I say that? Why? 
Right. You know, just because I thought it would be like a I hobby. I thought you were going to play it in your spare time. I, thought, my, I thought it was going to be a hobby. You know, hey, granted, yeah, I'm not in there right now. But the point is, we want to play the game right now. I can't go in there and just say, hey, man, let's, let's, let's play the game. Bam. Because she in there playing her game. Right. You get what I'm saying? You know, when we was all addicted to the uh, app game. Boy, that shit was just <laughs> that club shit, club. Yeah, yeah, boy, that boy. shit was turned, nigga. Boy, yeah, we got down, man. be in that big goddamn sleep, man. When she got 10 hours to go, bro, for yeah, that goddamn yeah. drink, boy. Goddamn. Hey, man, y'all make sure y'all come to my club, bro. <laughs> we was on that shit hard. <laughs> Forward, bro. We was that shit hard. Be sitting together. Yeah, man. That's when I stopped playing app games after that, though. Yeah. Because I realized how addicted I was that to that shit. Dude, fuck, man. So I re- that, that was the first, like, app game that we got onto, but that was, like, the last shit I really started playing, like, app wise, like, game wise. Because I, that shit was too addictive, bro. Like, that shit was, like, me fucked up, bro. Like, God damn, that drink ain't made yet, nigga. And I got to wait a whole nother five hours to make another one? Oh, shit, the club going to be goddamn closed by then, <laughs> man. Ain't going to make no money. <laughs> the club going to jump and time the drink come out. Come on, man. And then a bitch be gone so quick. Now you got to try to make some more to keep. I'm going to make a whole bunch of these to but sacrifice see, the a, time. It's a strategy game, though. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It stimulates your mind. You it did. Now that you put it that way. Yeah, because you, really had, you had to say, okay, game. I'm going I'm to put this out right now right. to cover the time got, until this yeah, is ready. cheap drink, the 10-minute drink, the 20-minute drinks and shit. You know, you got to strategize to be able to keep your shit running. That's you it. know what I'm saying? Uh, it was even that shit. Come to your club. You come to my club. Yeah. Yeah. Drop some money off in my boy club tonight. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, bro, I came by your club last night. Made it rain some gold coins. And ding, 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 ding. You know? You know what I'm oh, man, appreciate y'all. The restaurant. <laughs> appreciate y'all coming to the restaurant, man. I seen what you did with the place, bro. You got right. your new oven. Right. And goddamn, <laughs> I walked in that bitch and seen the new bar. Right. Like, goddamn, bro, got the, yeah, we we got the, the oven. Nigga, y'all cooking. Y'all cooking Phillies now? <laughs> 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 bro, cooking them Phillies. I got to step my game up. Phillies and fish fillets and shit. Bro, they, I, bro, it was the restaurant, the club, and it was a store, like a shoe yeah. store or some shit. Damn, bro, that shit was addictive. That shit was fun now that I think about it. Kind of kept people together, though, in a way. It was cool. Yeah, man, you know, you play with your friends and shit. strategy you know? game, man, you know. That's kind of gay. It was said like that, though. Like, you know, something we play together, man. Yeah, pause. Yeah. I guess I should say pause then. Whatever, man. But yeah, man. Match one podcast. On everything, nigga. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Hey man, I finna drop some new heat for y'all too coming soon, bro. And shout out to everybody that been fucking with me on that Zeus the comedian shit, man. I gotta make sure I say that too because to the world. because of you know a lot of y'all really fuck with the Match One podcast. I seen that re- you know a lot with the Zeus comedian shit. So man, I appreciate the love that y'all be showing me on that journey. And I still got some funny shit coming. I'm trying to get TD on some shit too now. I don't get fucked up, but you know he just want to shoot people. I don't shoot shit, huh? I don't see what you said. <laughs> I don't say that. <laughs> 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 oh man, yeah. that's what you would normally say. Like, it, like that's crazy. Now that I say it for you, yeah, it gotta feel a little different, you know. <laughs> <laughs> normally, you say the same shit, and it's like, okay, yeah, it gotta oh, feel man. different. Like, what the fuck you mean, like? <laughs> What you saying? I just want niggas know <laughs> I'm still the king of this R and B shit. Okay. No laughing matter. Yeah. Right. You already know what I said, Bobby. You do a show with me. You already know the consequences. Period. If I open up for you, Bobby, <laughs> go home. Bobby who? Brown. Oh, okay. I still got beef with Bobby. Well, Bobby do I got Bobby Brown Bobby. beef? No, no. I was gonna say what Bobby do. I forgot I like Bobby. I like Bobby. I stand up Bobby, I stand up for you a lot. Even when it comes to the Whitney Houston fans, uh-huh. I stand up for you, Bobby. When they be like, Bobby did that to Whitney, I no, he didn't. Go do she was like like to have fun before she got with Bobby. Right. She was a party girl. <laughs> Come on, man. Bobby was a party guy. <laughs> and together they make Captain Planet. You following me? Come on, man. Shit. Come on, bro. But yeah, Bobby. I mean, I like not crack job, Bobby. Right. Before Crack Job Bobby. Gumby Box Bobby. You know. When he was the, sh- the the world revolved around him at the time. Yeah. Like the biggest shit in the world. Coach Bobby. snotting Bobby. Whoa, whoa. Why do you got to bring that up? <laughs> I mean, that's what it was. Come on, man. Like it was pre-crack. 
That was that was that was, was we're not gonna call it. Don't do that no bro. Let's just call it his um medicine. Coach, no, medicine. Coke no, Don't do that. Bobby man. Brown Bobby Brown owed all the big drug dealers in the eighty. I don't think he owed them. Shit, he had a kid that one time. I forgot who kidnapped him. Yeah, he but. owed somebody some money. The nigga paid the money that Bobby Brown owed him. And kidnapped him. And then was like, nah, in my dick. And then he kidnapped the nigga. And they got like $800,000 from Whitney Houston. Okay, this, that, that. See, that, that that's where you're wrong at. That wasn't the Bobby I was talking about. <laughs> this Bobby I'm talking about when Bobby was Bobby he wasn't with Whitney oh okay okay, okay. you see what I mean like okay. Bobby so without with Whitney, Whitney okay see when Bobby was the biggest shit in the world this was before Whitney Him, yeah. he, he was big shit with Whitney don't get me wrong but I'm talking about pre-Whitney Bobby like yeah. oh yeah that Bobby yeah he probably was snoring I'm pretty sure he was fucking Madonna oh, yeah, and all yeah. types of bitches yeah, don't yeah. get me wrong pretty sure he was having a great Hollywood yeah. time but this was Bobby this was Ghostbusters Bobby right you know what I'm saying no, was it Ghostbusters yeah was it, oh, it Ghostbusters? Nah. It ain't Ghostbusters? Yes, it is, bruh. No damn Ghostbusters. Come on, man. What else is it? Because Elsie Hammer was the Adam family. Was it Ninja Turtles? No, that was Vanilla Ice, wasn't it? Yeah, I, yeah. It was Ghostbusters, bruh. Bob Brown ain't no motherfucking Ghostbuster, man. He was nice. Nah, say he was in here. He had a song on Ghostbusters, bruh. Oh, I don't know. Ghostbusters 2, man. On our own. I don't know about that. Yep, on our own. I fuck with my prerogative. Yeah, I fuck with that too. But I was saying you, you was acting like uh, you was acting like uh, when I said um, Ghostbusters. You know what the fuck I was talking I'm about? Brown the King R and B man. This is on the Ghostbusters. Stop playing that shit. Yeah. We'll lose that. We'll lose what you got. On our own, bro. Yeah, I knew what I was talking about. I remember that from Ghostbusters. Fuck you talking about. I was a Bobby Brown fan. Shout out to Bobby. Which Bobby? Each Bobby. Each Bobby reach Bobby. You know. Bobby's world. Not Bobby Brown. Rock goes more than life. Where are we, where are we going? Hmm. Ain't where we going is where we been. What are we talking about? Ain't what we're talking about. It's what we talked about. <laughs> Rugrats. Okay. Exactly, my brother. Yeah. You you thinking of what we talked about, but not what we talked about. Just because we ain't talking about it no more don't mean we ain't talking about it. Okay, okay. I think <laughs> you following me? I think so. You sure you following I'm me? I'm trying. Family matters. <laughs> That's all I'm just saying, bro. Like when you think about it, we ain't stimpy. We ain't talked about it, but we talked about it. <laughs> I ain't. Come on, my brother. You not even opening up your fifth mind, your fifth I'm eye. I'm following you, but you just like swerving in and out of lanes. I ain't you swerving know, it out of nothing, bro. Brother, you just you don't got your fifth eye open. If you open your fifth eye, you'll understand what I'm saying is we already talked about this because we talked about this. Because we already talked about this to be talked about this. <laughs> this shit just like get deep, bro. <laughs> deep. Reebok pumps. <laughs> I just brought my Reebok pumps this week. Ouch. <laughs> Hurt us. Huh? I, I'm trying to follow you. Yeah, but I'm, I mean, that time I wasn't being deep. That time I was being serious. I broke okay. I broke my Reebok pumps this week. I pulled the back tab off of it. I don't know how. All right. Ouch. <laughs> Reebok pumps, nigga. The question. The answer. I might used to think the bitch made me fast. I thought they made me jump high, but it didn't. I thought it made me fast. I used to got down. Put them on and pump them up. Yeah, yeah I think we all done that. But I used to think it made me jump high, but I realized that when I got blocked. It did. Yeah. It still made me a little nigga. Little nigga on the court with a whole bunch of older motherfuckers I shouldn't have probably been trying to play ball with anyway. Yeah. You feel me? Because <laughs> we pump talked up. about it. And it didn't work. Pump them up. Nothing. We should have sued them. 
Scoot who? What are you about? No, for what? Shit didn't work, it was about just making your feet comfortable. It wasn't about making you do anything better. Not how they presented it though. They just made you feel that way. But they never they never say they made you jump high. You know, like maybe they the sports it. person might have put it on and said, oh, shit, I jump higher. They didn't say it. They're not dumb enough to say it. Okay. You know, he's supposed to say that. He's trying to make you buy the shoe. <laughs> yeah. Come on, man. What you know about that? You know about that. They tricked me. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? It's like Sammy Sosa hitting home run. Mark McGuire breaking records. Andre Rising, house burned down. <laughs> what you talking about, man? You following me? That's all I'm saying, bro. Brian McKnight, biggest thing in the world. <laughs> Back at one. No, it's 12 o'clock. Switch that. Seven on the dot. Ursher. Talked about this already. We talked about I'm this. I'm lost. <laughs> lost. 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 I'm saying a bunch of nothing. I was going to say, but where, where are we going? But I was saying we talked about this. All right, you want to break it down? Please. When I said we talked about this, right? Mm-hmm. We talked about this past tense. We've talked about this in our past because that word is past tense. We're not talking about it now, but we've talked about this at some point in time. Not on the podcast, but in life. In life, we talked about that shit, right? Talked about it. So we talked about it, but we ain't talked about it. You get what I mean? Because we ain't talking about it now. We ain't talked about it today. But we talked about it somewhere in your life, right? At some point in your life, you talked about the Rugrats. Because you watched it. Huh? You follow me. No. <laughs> Catch up. <laughs> you follow me. Catch up, man. You ain't caught on the bus I ain't yet. I understanding Hold the on. layers, though. Hold on. It ain't, no, it ain't no layers. That's what I'm saying. You looking in too deep, my brother. We talked about this before. I'm understanding what you But saying. we ain't talked about it. See, you still got to catch up. You're trying to catch the bus. Pull out your phone. It's Uber now, bro. It's I not even like that no more. It's so deep, though, is what I'm asking. It's deep as pay phones. In the ground. <laughs> that was Uber before Uber. Call in the cab. <laughs> pay phones. Pay phones. Pay phones before cell phones was Uber. You go to a pay phone to call a cab. What a cab do? Come pick you up at the pay phone. That's what an Uber do right now from your cell phone. My brother, we talked about this, but we ain't talked about this. <laughs> I guess. Come on, man. Cabs ready for his Uber. Mm-hmm. Come on, man. No. Pizza Hut Pizza <laughs> You put it in the box Deliver it We talked about this already We just ain't talking about it now Okay Come on man Okay, okay. You following me brother I'm following you That's what I'm, I'm saying following. man See, I'm glad you could follow me. You got your fifth eye open, my brother. When your fifth eye is closed, sometimes it got a wink. Sometimes it got one of those twitches. Right. The Bill Cosby eye. Whoa. My brother, why would you talk about Bill Cosby eye like that? I mean, we talking about it, but we ain't talked about it. See? Your fifth eye is open. So with your analogy, I got to go with, my brother. If Bill Cosby do that, uh, Bill Cosby eyes do that, it do that. That's probably why it was easy for him to put stuff in people's drinks. Pow. He thought he was putting it in his, his own drink. So he's innocent. His eye fucked up. He's innocent. Man, we should have been his fucking lawyer. He's innocent. Man, he thought he was putting this shit in his drink. He's innocent. His eye fucked up, so he was accidentally <sighs> putting it in they drink. Come on. So then they drunk and oh, blah, blah, blah. he just like, yo, she, she giving me the pussy. What you mean? I'm the one fucked up. Holy. Oh, my man. God. Bro. Deal, man. Oh, my. But did you just relax? Hey, 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 my brother. Did you realize something just then? You just preached the word. Free bill. You just preached the word. That's right. You goddamn preached the word. Um, Offering. He need his offering. Bill, bill innocent. Because yeah, he can't see. Because you just see, you opened up your fifth eye. If you didn't open up your fifth eye, you wouldn't even realize Bill Cosby was innocent. <laughs> you see my what I'm saying? It took my fifth eye to see Bill Cosby's one eye. Yeah, his one eye. When Half all the eyes around the world was on, on man. So oh my, oh. we talked about it, but we ain't talked about it. Mm-hmm. 
Oh my God, boy. If this ain't some church in here tonight, if this ain't some church in here tonight, if they didn't get a word from us today, brother, <laughs> if they didn't get a word from us today, brother, we'll a word today. if they didn't get a word from, you know, they get louder. Cause I guess you can get the people riled up. Yeah. See, I, I, they get the riled up. They get you know, know. it'd be like the first row might be, yeah. and then they get a little bit louder. We didn't get the people. And then everybody yeah. start clapping, and then by the end, it's like yeah. I said it about four the time. And then you might throw a little shouting in there. You throw a shouting in there, you get the crowd going real good. Yeah. You know, pom 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 pom. Pom 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 pom. They make it out of anything. Pom 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 pom. The drama, you see his face. He sees his head is bobbing. He ready. Yeah, this shit about to go down. Go this shit about to go down. See, only people that's and been that, in, that shit could bust out from anything. Come on, though. man. From prayer, from walking into church. Motherfucker get up there and say, if it had not a man. If it had not a man. Dun, dun. If it had not a man. Bah, bah. If it had not a man. Bah, bah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, somebody get bah, bah. Bah, bah. Bah, bah. Come on, boy. Nigga from the <laughs> hood and shit. Remember the time that one nigga had gave, 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 uh, gave Furlay the high five? Yeah, that my nigga. Jerry. Johnny. Johnny. Yeah, gave yeah. high five. That shit, that was funny. He was praying for you, my brother. <laughs> he gave a nigga a high five. Man. A double high five. <laughs> <laughs> We had, we had some church in this mother night though, my brother. I mean, somebody gonna get saved from this. Somebody gonna get saved from this. Somebody life, somebody life just change. Somebody life change. That's what you call it. Uh-huh. I don't even know. We call it like that. They, they better have something. Somebody finna go join. But hey. They need to shoot us our uh, finders fee because we want that. <laughs> We leave that, my brother. We need to get us a, a new car. Ooh, some hot wings. I, I mean, I just, I guess I just want to try hot wings again. No. Jamie's. But yeah, man. Anything else on your mind, my brother? You know, shit. That's one podcast on everything. That's one yeah. podcast on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All that yeah. shit right there. Yeah. Shit, yeah. 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 yeah.